Welcome Passion Fruit Farmers. This is Finger Farm. Enjoy to be with me. If you are interested in Passion Fruit, I'm going to show you tips on disease management for Passion Fruit. I'm going to summarize so that you can know how to control these diseases in Passion Fruit and become a successful farmer. Welcome. We have several diseases in Passion Fruit, but we can categorize into four groups. That is fungal associated diseases, virus, bacterial, and nematode. So in fungal associated diseases, we have again several. We have cholera, fusarium will, dieback, anthragnos, scab, septoria plot, and bytoptora. And in virus, we have witness virus, leaf model, mosaic virus, and a faint clearing. And in bacterial, we have bacterial spot, we have bacterial gray spot, and nematodes, we have the uh, root knob in nematodes. So I want to ex explain only a few of diseases which mostly affect passion fruit farmers. And I'm going to start from the fungal infection, such as, uh, such as dipak, prawn spot, fusaria mul, and cholera. And I'm going to finish with witness virus. Those are the uh, five major kinds of diseases which affect most of the farmers. It affects severely when it is attacked to the farm. So begin when I'm going to explain. So this is the passion fruit. And I want to use this one to demonstrate or not these diseases affect uh, the passion fruit. So that you can understand uh, the symptoms of these diseases clearly. So let us start from the prawn spot as one of the fungal uh, disease. So in the prawn spot, you will find that there are some prawn spots or dark spots on the fruits, on the leaves, and even on the stem. You will find we have some prawn spots. There are some prawn spots on these fruits. So you will have some prawn spots and even the leaves. And after some time, you will find this leaf will, will, will start uh, turning to be yellow and it will drop. And... If this disease is, is not uh, controlled, it will attack. This is a young shoot. Because this is a young shoot, it will attack this young shoot. And it will form some lesions. Because we know something which is uh, which has died is just like a lesion in, in, or, or a wound. So it will die and it will start uh, killing this plant towards to the main stem. And by doing so, it will cause another disease called the dieback. The dieback, we mean the dieback because if the prawn spot, if the prawn spot attack this plant and you have not control, after some time, it will now become a dieback because it has the same causative agent. Uh, dieback and prawn spot, it has the same causative agent, that is Fusarium species. So, uh, this is the young shoot. And this young shoot, it will start dying from the, from the path, the top, and it will... Uh, 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 die slowly, slowly up to the main stem. When it reaches to the main stem, it will cut this stem. That is now we call it dieback. So, uh, the, 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 this disease will affect the flame of the plant. When you talk of the flame, it's the cover of this plant. It will affect the cover. And when it affects the cover, there will, there will be no movement of water. Uh, not the water, but there is no movement of the food from the leaves to the to the roots, and this plant will die gradually downwards, and it will be called dieback. So the plant will just die slowly, slowly, slowly. So the symptom you will see some brown spots, and later these uh, leaves will fall, and after some time it will start dying uh, downwards to the towards the roots. That is now the dieback. And a prone spot. How do you control this uh, prone spot and dipax? If you have seen the, this leaf it has a prone spot, you remove this leaf. You also you are supposed to cut this leaf with a prone spot. And then even you you find there is a dipack. Maybe there is here we have a, 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 a spot which has affected a lesion which has started. You are supposed to come with a razor play and cut it slowly by slowly. You remove the affected band so that it will not affect the whole stem. So by doing so, you have removed the disease, the disease band. 
and you will be able to control these die bags that will attack the stem of the of the fruit but if you want to control by using the chemical use a copper paste a copper paste a uh, fungicide when we talk about co uh, copper paste it is the fungicide which has the, a copper so if you use it you will be able to control all these diseases those are how to control the dye bag and the brown spot let us move to the another disease called fusarium wilt fusarium wilt will attack the roots of the plant the reason why we talked about we use crafted seedlings because we know that a yellow variety the crafted the downward least one is a yellow variety and this yellow variety now it is very resistant to fusarium wilt so it will not be affected by the Wizarium wilt. So if you use the, uh, the crafted acid links, you will be able to reduce uh, the incidence of Fusarium wilt in your farm. So how does this Fusarium wilt affect the plant? It will affect the roots of uncrafted uh, plant. The roots will, uh, will become a, a somewhat dark and it will run. And when you cut at the collar of this a damaged plant you will find it it is dark and it is like a uh, cracking at the collar so the difference between the brown spot and dye pack the brown spot and dye pack affect the, the flame of the plant but for the fusarium wheel it will affect uh, the xylem of the plant it will affect inside so there will be no uptake of water from the roots up to the plant and what will happen? You will find that after some time, the, the leaves of the plant start becoming pale yellow, a uh, pale green. And after some time, turning to yellow. And gradually, the plants will definitely die. And that is how uh, this fusarium will, uh, can be noticed in the farm. There is another one called colarot. We talked about colarot. It is almost just like uh, fusarium will. It's also affect the plant but it will affect the xylem of the the, the flame of the plant it will affect the plant that is cover at the top and you will find the stem will turn to be black it will turn to be black black it will die black it will affect the leaves the stem so it will be black and look like dumpy so nikama inaka kuoza that is now the color this is how you differentiate between the fusarium wheel and the collar rod. So you'll find it will start uh, becoming dumpy and it will die. The pack will die, will die, will die. And after some time, the whole plant will die. So there is again the turning of the leaves to be yellow gradually and then it will die. But after the difference between the, these three, only for the fusarium wheel will affect the xylem of the plant. But the dye bags, brown spot, and the collar rod affect the flame of the of the plant. And those are the three, uh, the the four major fungal diseases which affect uh, the farmers. So let us also see this another viral disease which is affecting most of the farms in Bashan fruit, called woodness virus. How will you know that this is a woodness virus? This is the leaf of the plant. And this is the stem. If this is the leaf, you will find that if the uh, the plant is attacked by the woodness virus, you will find there is a standard growth. And the, the color of the leaf will be pale yellow. And even this fine will not be clearly seen. You will find that these fine are not clearly seen because there are some uh, uh, chlorotic in the, in the leaves. You will find there are some yellow dots in the leaves, yellow dots in the leaves. It will affect the chlorophyll in that leaf because it has turned to be yellow. And you will find that even the flowers, you will find the small flowers like this. This flower which has, it has not opened, it will turn to be, to be yellow and it will fall. So there will be eye, uh, eye damage of the, of the flowers. You will find the young flowers like this one will be turning to be yellow and falling. Those are the symptoms that you can understand. I have the woodiness virus in the farm. You'll find these flowers will turn to be yellow. Even the stem of the younger plant, you'll find the stem is somewhat yellow. 
So the, this yellowishness in this plan will show that uh, there is less absorption of sunlight and the plant will start uh, becoming standard growth. And if uh, the plant is affected by a, in the fruits, you will find that this is the fruit. And if this is the fruit, you will find there is some deformation of the fruit. It will not form an oval shape like this one, but it will be very hard. A woody. It will be very hard and it will affect the shape of this fruit. And after so, a after some time, you'll find this fruit will crack. So you will find some fruits are cracking. And those are the symptoms that you can uh, know that I have the woodiness virus in your farm. How do you control this woodiness virus in your farm? You are supposed to control the factors. The factors, I mean you are supposed to uh, control insect pests which are in their farm, such as the aphids. You are supposed to ensure that the cutting tools are sterilized. You are supposed to clean your cutting tools every now and then. You are not supposed to be visiting the farms with witness virus because you can transfer the disease from uh, the infected uh, farm to another farm. So ensure that uh, you observe cleanliness. Even uh, weeding, you should be able to weed your farm after every two weeks so that you'll uh, remove the weeds because these weeds will be the hiding place for pests. So you are supposed to ensure that your farm is very clean and this is how you uh, you control this woodness virus. And if you find that there are some uh, plant affected by woodness virus, you are supposed to remove that plant. So you remove it, you are it and then you take a side and you burn it. Don't just uh, remove it and then you just leave it there. So you are supposed to burn. And this, those are the best way you can control the wilderness virus. I know you have understood how to control these diseases. If you find it uh, to be good for you, ensure that you subscribe so that when I upload the next video, you will be able to know I have uploaded the new uh, video. So subscribe and uh, type the, not the notification bell so that you'll be notified. And the diseases are, are not such uh, serious. They cannot damage your farm until you, you, you clear the whole farm. So ensure that you comment. If there is any disease you want to know more for me to explain, ensure that you type that disease, which disease you want me to explain. I am going to explain about the, this pest that affects uh, passion fruit. When we journey together, I know we are going to go far. Thank you. Make sure that you like and you, su you subscribe my videos.